Hi, I'm Laura from Nanny Parent Connection. Over the next few weeks, I will be discussing the top seven issues that nannies care about most. These issues include fair pay, job security, respect and recognition, clear communication, benefits, workplace safety, and continuing education. Last week in episode one, we discussed fair pay for nannies, things that both nannies and families should consider. Today in episode two, I will discuss job security for nannies. Why is job security for nannies important? Well, if you ask anyone with a job, they will let you know that job security and having a stable workplace environment are among their top concerns. This is absolutely no different for nannies. Nannies often don't have coworkers, unions, or a governing body to help set forth standards with how nanny care should happen. Instead, what they have are nanny contracts, nanny communities, and a set of standards that has been discussed and agreed upon by nannies as being best practices for nannies and families in the industry. As an employer, here is what you will want to do to create job security and a stable work environment for your nanny. Step one, have a nanny contract. A nanny contract will spell out all of the pertinent information about the position. This should include things like schedule, contract length, how and when pay will happen, and provisions for ending the working agreement. Step two, offer your nanny guaranteed hours. A nanny needs to know how much income they can count on each week. This is no different than a daycare or preschool scenario where you pay the month's tuition whether or not your child will be attending for every day of that month. When you offer your nanny guaranteed hours, they will know they will be able to pay rent, pay for their groceries, and any other expenses they need to pay for because they will be able to count on their income. A nanny shouldn't be expected to remain available for a family without pay in the event that the family leaves on vacation and takes the work, aka the child, along with them. Guaranteed hours is part of a nanny industry standard compensation package, and it's arguably one of the most important pieces of that compensation package. Step three, take steps to create a stable work environment. Nannies should have predictability within their position. If the exact work schedule fluctuates, it's best to generally outline the schedule in the contract and have provisions in place for the steps to take if any changes are needed along with how much notice is given for those changes. By this, I don't mean when the schedule completely changes from the original parameters set forth when the nanny accepted the position. By this, I mean if the nature of the family's work, such as with a doctor, a firefighter, police officer, maybe a nurse, if the nature of their work fluctuates, that is something obviously the nanny knows in advance, you get your schedule well in advance, and you can plan ahead with your nanny. Basically what I'm saying here is you don't want any surprise changes that you expect your nanny to just be able to accommodate. Step four, give advance notice when ending the working agreement. It's customary to give at least two, but ideally more like four weeks of advance notice if the position will be ending. This will give your nanny adequate time to run their own job search for their next family. If you need to let your nanny go without cause, such as a family member was laid off or a spot in daycare opened up and now your child is going to go to daycare, two to four weeks of severance pay is ideal to give to your nanny. In the event that a nanny must be let go immediately but with cause, such as when misconduct happens or there's a safety issue, then severance pay is not typically given. Here are the steps that I recommend nannies take to ensure job security on their end. Step one, do not work without a contract. A contract offers protections to you as an employee, and it gives both parties a chance to discuss and agree upon all of the terms of the position. Step two, insist upon receiving guaranteed hours. It's typical for nannies to receive guaranteed hours that match the average number of hours they work in a week. Step three, do your part to ensure that you are creating a stable work environment. Practice good communication, be punctual, ask for check-ins, and be open to receiving feedback to make sure that all parties are happy with how the work is happening. Do your part to carry out the job duties to the best of your abilities and work together with the parents to make sure you are reasonably meeting their needs. Step four, have your resume up to date and ready to go in the event you need to launch into a job search quickly. Job security might not always mean your position with your current family, but rather your ability to quickly begin work with a new family. This means you should update your resume at the beginning of each position and list the date that you began work with that family and list until present. 
That way your resume always stays up to date. Make sure to ask for those letters of recommendation from families as well, so you have those ready to go in the event you need to move quickly with a new job search. I hope this information has helped you to understand why job security for nannies is so important and how both nannies and employers can play a role in ensuring job security. Please make sure to join me next week for episode three in the series, the top seven issues nannies care about most, when we will be discussing respect and recognition. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, please click on the like button, subscribe, or ring the bell so that you can be notified when more of these helpful videos come out in the future. And if you haven't already seen it, make sure to check out this great video about nanny contracts. Thank you everyone. Bye.